everyone. So tomorrow is June 1st, which marks the first day of Alzheimer's Awareness Month, which is a cause I'm super passionate about. So believe it or not, art and art therapy actually have a huge positive impact on individuals with Alzheimer's, which I've gotten the privilege of being able to see firsthand. When I was in high school, I facilitated art therapy exercises with Alzheimer's residents of a local nursing home weekly for six months. And before I talk about the impacts of art therapy, let's talk about Alzheimer's disease. So Alzheimer's disease is the most common type of dementia, which is a progressive neurological disorder. When you have this disease, as it progresses, more of your brain starts to deteriorate, which causes loss of brain cells, causing memory loss and other difficulties in carrying out day-to-day -day tasks. Oftentimes, individuals with Alzheimer's revert back to their childhood memories or other early memories because this disease attacks your short-term memory first. So that means like your childhood memories have been with you the longest, so they're in your long-term memory. So what does this mean? This means if you're having a conversation with someone who has Alzheimer's, they could forget the conversation five minutes later and ask you the same questions. And basically, your childhood or early memories have been with you the longest, so they're more ingrained in your memory than memories of a few minutes ago. Unfortunately, at the moment, there's no cure for this disease because we don't have the technology to regenerate and grow new brain cells, but there are several drugs that actually slow down the progression of this disease, which is super awesome. So how does art help with this? Art stimulates the senses, it recovers forgotten memories, and encourages socialization. You may notice that when you make art, it's very relaxing. And it also relaxes people with Alzheimer's and alleviates irritation and anger, which often is a byproduct of this disease. Studies of the impacts of art therapy have been done across many prominent hospitals and universities. So I'm going to read a piece of my research paper, which includes a case that I initially came across when I was first doing my research for my senior project. And actually, a lot of my sources are videos and TED Talks, so I'll put those links in the description if you're interested in watching them. They're super interesting and cool, so I would recommend it. So in his 2014 article, How Art Therapy Enhances the Quality of Life for Dementia Patients, Mark Huntsman, a creative writer for Seattle Pacific University, describes a man named Dr. Potts and his experience caring for someone with Alzheimer's disease. And he also examines key components of art therapy related to Alzheimer's disease. Huntsman begins recounting his conversation with Dr. Potts about Potts' father, Lester's experience with art therapy. Lester was enrolled in an art therapy program at a local adult daycare. After participating in this program, Lester demonstrated a substantial improvement in behavior, mood, and creativity, which positively impacted him and his whole family. Continuing his studies, Huntsman discusses how the University of Alabama's Honors College initiated the Bring Art to Life program that works with people with mild to moderate dementia in art therapy. Huntsman also provides three other patient stories and their experiences with this art therapy program. The most astounding patient's story belongs to a woman in her 80s who had to stop cooking because her moderate Alzheimer's got so bad. After completing the Bring Art to Life program, this woman was able to cook Thanksgiving dinner and she's cooked ever since. A successful art therapy program truly enriches patients' lives by giving them a higher quality lifestyle and often restores some lost memories. That's just one doctor's case study. There's a ton, ton more out there. So now my experience with my project. Each week I did a different painting project with the residents and we would sit all together at a common area table in their ward. I usually had the same crowd of ladies, which ranged from six to eight ladies every week. And I would be there for about one to two hours every week. 
Throughout my time, the ladies told me about their lives. They would ask me about mine. There was one lady in particular who I was always blown away by her. She would ask for a piece of paper and a pencil, or she would use her paintbrush to draw or paint horses from her memory. Are you kidding? It was crazy. And this lady actually rode horses when she was a little girl. And another lady would draw flowers from her memory. The longer I went to the nursing home, they started to remember that I came the previous week, which was so cool. It was so cute. They would get like super bummed out when I would be like, okay, we have to clean up now. I have to leave. Like they wanted me to stay longer. And my project was actually only supposed to last two months, but I ended up continuing to volunteer for more months. It ended up being like six months in total. And it was honestly such an amazing experience. I could not recommend it enough. Like I 100% encourage you if you're interested to research this topic on your own and volunteer at nursing homes if you can. It's really amazing. The residents love to see new people. They get so excited to see new people and do activities. And it's really important to make them feel like they're not forgotten because they still have so much to offer us and like they're so valuable. And if you'd like to donate to the Alzheimer's cause, there are some really awesome foundations out there that help with research and help families and individuals with Alzheimer's who are in need, like the Alzheimer's Association and Alzheimer's Foundation of America that I'll put links in the description too as well. But I really can't say enough good things about the impacts of art therapy on Alzheimer's. I mean, there's a ton of research on this topic. The same goes for music therapy, like people connect to music and have similar responses as the art therapy. So I definitely would encourage you to check it out. 